What's up, tribe? How you guys doing? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I hope you like this video. This is going to be your review for the season finale of Married to Medicine. Um, so season seven, we are at the end. Next week, we will begin our three week reunion or three part reunion, I should say. So we start this episode off with Toya planning her housewarming. That is the grand finale of this season. We know that this house, they've been building all last season. They were looking and finding and building the house. And then all this season, they've moved into the house, getting settled. And so now we're having the big housewarming. They are having this huge Arabian Nights um, themed um, party. It is, her budget is $10,000. And her party planner told her, boo, for everything you want, $10,000 ain't even going to cover it. And Toya said, well, look, Eugene already think I'm spending too much money, so we got to make it happen. So she's got a huge um, background prop, uh, backyard property, excuse me. I think they said that it's a, a acre, uh, which is huge uh, for a backyard. Um, she's going to have a hookah lounge, and she's going to have this, and she's going to have that. And so he said, and I got a surprise for you. I've been able to find a camel. She said, oh. Well, how much is the camel? And I want to say he said something about $4,500. She said, well, no, nah, I'm good. I don't need it for that. He said, well, I got it for you for half price. Toya, he done already told you you over your budget. But okay, ain't my business, ain't my money. Ain't got nothing to do with me. I could live in a part of Toya house and she never know my ass was there. That house looked like it's so big. But anyway, so, um, so there's that. And then we see... Contessa and um, Scott talking. And, you know, this is the finale. So we're wrapping stuff up. And basically, she's like, look, I'm going to enjoy the summer with my kids. And I'll be starting school in the fall. Now, she said that she did understand her part in this. Because, you know, we've been focusing on Scott's part. I've been talking about her part. But I think a lot of people have been focusing on Scott. But she did admit that she had some part in this and that she did not put as much effort into maintaining her home as much as she was trying to maintain her career. Got it. Glad that the therapy is helping for y'all. Cool. Dr. Jackie, the, the plans are moving forward with her renovation. I hope she's going to do a big reveal when it's all said and done, That maybe next season, if she bad girl. Um, but she went to Cecil and she was like, look, I don't ever want us to go back to where we were. And I want you to know that I heard you. And so she planned a two-week vacation to the south of France. She has taken 10 uninterrupted business days off of work, and they are going on a two-week vacation to the south of France. And Cecil was shocked, and I'm sure he was appreciative as well. And what, what, what Jackie also said was, I want him to understand that I heard him. I want him to know that I, you know, I'm going to do my part to make sure we don't go back to where we were. But he also has to understand who I am. You got to know who you married. I was this person when you married me. I, this is just who I am. But I think that they are figuring out a way to get to a happy medium. And I can respect that. So, look, y'all. It's the day of the party. And the whole bunch of stuff goes down, okay? It's the day of the party. Eugene, because Eugene didn't know nothing about this party, Okay. Um, Toya ain't really told him all the specifics and all the ins and outs of the party. So Eugene is sitting there like, you know, this is nice. This is nice. This is nice. You're doing too much. Like at a certain point he was like, okay, you, you, you're doing too much. I think it was the camel that did it. He will tell the party planner, why you let her get a damn camel, man? What about my backyard? What about the droppings? So they say they got it all under control and, you know, poor thing. All he can, poor Eugene, all he can do is go along to get along, honey. Go along to get along. Um, but at this point, the money is spent. It is what it is. So you just got to enjoy it. Um, so everybody's getting ready for the party. Um, we see that um, Contessa's going all out, honey. Contessa got Hannah put on, which I think Hannah is so beautiful. Hannah's beautiful. Now, on the way to the party, we see that Cecil, Toya, Buffy and her husband ha are riding together. Here's where it all starts, okay? Here's where it all starts. 
Now, let me say this, and I know that y'all going to probably get me in them comments, but I want y'all to hear me out. Before y'all start typing, let me finish talking, okay? All of this started with Buffy, and I'm going to tell you why. When they were in the car, and they started, and Simone asked Buffy, what about you and Jackie? Because Simone's thing is, I'm friends with both of them, and everybody wants all their friends to get along. Everybody wants, if I introduce you to one of my friends, I want us to all be, get along. I would have never introduced you if I thought y'all weren't going to like each other or I thought it was going to be a problem. I wanted us to be friends. When she said that to Buffy, and, you know, Buffy's response was something about, I don't know, something. Anyway. But, of course, the infidelity conversation came back up again. The statement came back up again. Buffy? What you should have said in that moment when Simone said she didn't apologize, you didn't say yes. And from there is where Simone got it in her head that y'all needed to keep that, that Jackie needed to apologize to you again, which start, which set off a whole nother firestorm. Now, this also goes back to something I said back when they were still in Mexico and when it happened. What do that all what do I always say, y'all that follow me, y'all look at my videos? You apologize in the same way that you disrespected me. If Jackie had apologized a sincere apology in front of the group, the way she did that sincere apology in private, this would have been avoided as well. But Jackie did give you a sincere apology, Buffy. Now, that first apology wasn't, that wasn't, that wasn't, when they were at the table. And, but when y'all were one-on-one -on -one and she spoke to you when it was a private conversation, she was sincere. And she even said, because of the way I choose to use my pain, you know, I was wrong because that's not how you use yours. You know what I mean? And I would never, turn your pain into my purpose is how she worded it because I know Jackie know how to turn a turn a phrase honey and so I feel like both of them if they had handled it differently could have avoided this but I put a lot of it on Buffy because the only reason why Simone approached Jackie at this party and said look can you talk to Buffy is because you didn't you did not make it clear that Jackie had apologized to you in Mexico one on one and that it was sincere. And then you got upset and you started crying and everything. And here's the thing. I'm not I can't sit here and judge your pain. I can't judge your pain. You know, you've gone through you you're dealing with something that a lot of women have a hard time adjusting, grasping, and and coming to a realization about. So I'm not going to judge it, but I will say that I feel like you should have given Simone a different answer. But Jackie, if you had apologized publicly, that would have avoided this as well too. So anyway, but with that being said, they get to the party. Um, Toya makes her grand entrance, honey. She got Eugene and a few other people carrying her on one of those, you know what I'm talking about, like little beds or whatever with the camel following behind them, honey. She made a beautiful grand entrance. I ain't mad at you. Look, if you're going to do it, do it. She had a beautiful outfit on. Everybody came in, in costume. Everybody stayed to the theme um, except for Damon. And I don't know what Damon and Dr. Heavily had on. I don't feel like either one of them really were in the theme, but they looked nice. So I'm not going to say nothing. Um, nobody dogs Toya. Everybody was happy for Toya. Everybody talked about how beautiful the house was. So for that, cool. Somewhere in the, in the evening, Simone approaches Jackie and tells Jackie that I think you need to apologize to Buffy again. Jackie was like, what? Now, again, from where Jackie's sitting, Jackie's like, what are we talking? I did this. We've been back from Mexico for weeks. I apologize to Buffy. And I'm sure Jackie's probably thinking what I would have been thinking. Well, what is Buffy saying? Because why is Simone, because she even said that, she said, Simone, my friend of 20-something years, why is she acting like 
I owe this woman something that I've already given her. And why is she asking me to do this? I've already done this. And so we'll get back to that. Mariah shows up with Lake again and Contessa is automatically irritated because Contessa is like, why does Mariah keep forcing Lake on us? Knowing that Lake has issues with somebody in the group and she feels like that Mariah uses Lake as her mouthpiece when to say things that she doesn't really want to say, which is probably true. But Contessa, when you and Quad become so tight that you feel like you that irritated by it. But okay, we're going to get to that because Contessa... You irritated my soul at the end of this episode, but we'll get there. So then Jackie was like, you could tell that Jackie was automatically irritated, but Jackie was like, I mean, if she want to talk, okay, I guess I apologize again. But she was pissed off by it. You could tell she was irritated. She was pissed off. And she was even saying, you know, um, so I'll, I'll get to that. So, um, Buffy was talking to Mariah and they were basically having a conversation about how you can never make anybody in this group happy. No matter what you do, it's always an issue. And I'm having a hard time trying to figure out how I can trust these women. And you know, Mariah was eating that up. Child, you know, I understand. girl. You know, I feel you on that one, child. I don't know. These women, no matter what you do, honey, you could say somebody eyelash too long and you be, you know, you be out. You be in the outs. And I'm like, here we go. So, Simone takes Buffy over to Jackie. And once again, Jackie apologizes to Buffy. But then the conversation starts. Instead of Buffy saying, because here's the thing at the end of the day. It's okay, Buffy, to say, I'm not ready to accept your apology. But then they started getting off into the conversation again about my pain, your pain, our pain, we pain. And... Buffy got upset. Buffy started crying. Um, and I'm not in that moment sure what. I just don't know what they wanted from Jackie in that moment. Now, y'all know I was hard on Jackie. And even when y'all were coming to me in the comments and I, I looked at Dr. Heavenly's review where they said that Jackie had apologized to her in private. My thing was, I said it then and I'll say it now. You apologize the way you offended. So, my thing was, we didn't know that she apologized, and it wasn't on. They didn't show us on on the, in the episode, so they must not have wanted us to know that she apologized. So I'm only reacting to what I see, and my thing is, I don't know that she apologized. But now, I'm with you, Jackie. I don't know what else they want from you. You've apologized publicly. You've apologized privately. You tried to apologize a second time that I don't even think you owed the woman an apology. And it still seemed like she wasn't, I don't know what, I don't know what she wanted from you. And maybe y'all can explain it to me in them comments. I know Jackie can come off a little harsh. And I know that. I think Jackie was trying to explain to her how she's dealing with her pain. I, anyway, anyway. So Buffy ends up going off crying. They end up going into one of the Toya's bathrooms. Um, in the clubhouse, and they're crying, they go and they get her husband, and, you know, Buffy is like, I just want to go home, I just, she's having a total breakdown, and she's like, I just want to go home, in that moment, I think Toya was being a little selfish, I think it was probably a 50-50 thing, I think it was a 50-50 that Toya really was concerned about Buffy, but I also think 50% of it was, girl, how you gonna leave my party? This is my party. This is the party of the year. How could you want to leave? And Buffy kept telling Toya, let me go. Just let me go home, Toya. Just let me go home, Toya. Leave me alone, Toya. Toya said, girl, let me take you to my closet. My closet makes everything better. My closet makes everybody happy. Let me take you to my closet. Let me talk to you. Dr. David, her husband, he wasn't really feeling it, but he, he kind of let it go, you know. So they go into the closet now. Before we get to this, because this is going to be about the end of it. So before we get to this part, let me go back to Dr. Heavenly and Quad have a conversation. And Quad is talking about false receipts. And she's saying how Mariah ain't really cut her hair and do this drug test and how she's not believing these receipts. And she's talking about, I'm telling you what I know. Now, here's what I think I know. 
do I believe that Quad has seen Heavenly, I mean, seen um, Mariah do drugs? I believe she believes it. I believe she believes it. They were really good friends. They were close friends. They shared a lot of stuff. Sound like they might have shared a brother-in-law. But anyway, they shared a lot of stuff. I believe that she believes it. Now, I say it that way because... I don't have an allegedly side. Anyway, but yeah, I mean, I believe, yeah, I, I believe it. I'm sorry. I believe it. Um, and we also know things can be manipulated. I don't know. But neither here nor there. That was the conversation that they had. And that's only important because that's going to come back at the reunion. Not so much tonight, but that's important. So Toya got Buffy to her two-story bedroom, honey. She said, it's beautiful lighting. You know, we can play in some makeup. I'm going to touch up her makeup for her. Let me go get her a cocktail. So Toya goes and goes to get a glass of wine and some wine glasses. Now, while this is going on, here come the rest of the ladies looking for Buffy. Simone had gone down into the basement. Now, here come Contessa, Mariah, and all these other people. I think everybody stuff for Jackie because Jackie was like, yo. Jackie was over talking to Cecil and the conversation she was having with Cecil was like, look, maybe this ain't the group for me. Maybe this is not the friend group for me because I don't know what else I can do for these women. Every season, I'm the glue that holds them together. I'm always having sit downs and lemon squeezes and tea parties trying to bring everybody back together and they don't want to be back together. And now she, you can tell she's really hurt and offended by what Simone did with the whole apology piece of it. So Jackie's like, look, this might not be the group for me. And Jackie ain't going that daggone uh, closet to go talk to Buffy to go get into that. Now, Simone tried to stop Contessa and them from coming in the basement. I mean, I keep saying the basement, in the damn the closet. Contessa, you should have turned your ass around and left. See, here's the thing. People, sometimes people are friends in different ways with each other. Simone has a different friendship with Buffy than you do. Simone said to you, stop. She is having a full breakdown and this ain't the time. And Contessa said, what do you mean it's not the time? It's always the time. Blah, 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 blah. They tried to stop you, Contessa, and you took your happy ass right down them steps anyway. You were wrong. You should have turned around. You should have respected it and you should have kept it moving. And then once everybody calmed down and everything was cool, then you could have came back and said, well, what was wrong with Buffy? Or you had ample opportunity to go see that damn closet. I'm sure the, I'm sure Toya will give tours to anyone and everybody who wants to see her damn closet. So you can go see that closet whenever you feel like going to see that closet. And so I have a problem with the way that whole situation went down because Contessa, you were wrong. Now, so Contessa pushes her way through and ends up going down there. Buffy, as soon as Buffy sees all these people coming, she's automatically back in. You know, she's in defense mode because she didn't want to be there. She tried to go home. Toya talked her into staying and talked her into coming to that closet under the belief that they would have a private moment. I don't think she anticipated everybody coming down there to talk to her about what was going on. She doesn't want to talk to everybody. She didn't want to talk to you. So then Contessa decides that she's somebody's therapist and going to start talking to that woman about, well, you can decide. First of all, she's yelling at her. That's number one. Well, you can decide to wallow in it, or you can make your your pain your purpose, and and you can do it, and and you can, and Buffy is like Contessa, leave me alone, and she starts yelling, and then Contessa got the nerve to say, well, why are you yelling? Why are you in my business? I'm yelling because I want you to leave me the, alone. That's why I'm cussing. Mm, not, I didn't cuss. That's why I'm yelling because I want you to leave me the hell alone. And I done told you I want you to leave me alone. And I done told you this ain't your conversation to have. And then she kept yelling at that woman. The woman tried to walk away from her. Contessa's still in her face. And I'm just like, what is wrong with these people? Why can't anybody read a social cue? This woman has made it clear she doesn't want to talk to you, Contessa. She doesn't want to hear what you have to say. And this is not the time or the place. Simone told you off the break this wasn't your time or your place. So as soon as, so Buffy ends up leaving once again. Now, by this time, her husband, because her husband, I don't think he ever left from the front door because 
Toya told him no men allowed in her closet. But I bet you, I'm almost certain that man never left that, that doorway. He might not have went in the closet, but he was standing right outside that door the whole time. He did not leave his wife. So when he started hearing the yelling and stuff, he was standing there and was like, uh-uh, come on, let's go. And they ended up leaving. And Buffy was done. Now, Buffy ain't been my, you know, there's been moments where Buffy got on my nerves. But in this moment, I really felt bad for Buffy because all of this could have been avoided. There were a lot of points where this could have been avoided. Now, then as soon as that's over, Mariah starts getting on Contessa. And in this case, Mariah wasn't wrong. Because Mariah was like, Contessa, why you keep inserting yourself in places you don't need to be? So Contessa was already pissed off at Mariah because she's like, why do you keep bringing Lake around? And she uses this as an opportunity to start yelling at Mariah about bringing Lake around. So, of course, then Mariah was like, what? And y'all know Mariah don't back down now. She don't back down from no argument. So Mariah got the yelling and got the going back and forth with Contessa. By the time it was over, Mariah was calling Contessa. Talk, talking about Contessa Ponytail was a horse. And she said, I ride thoroughbreds, uh, woman. You wear thoroughbreds. I said, oh, Lord. And they got to going back and forth. And Contessa even came back down the stairs, honey. She wanted some more of it. But they ended up getting Contessa out that daggone closet, honey. And poor Toya. Toya said, this is not. This is not how I envision people enjoying my closet. This is not what I had in mind when I was building my two-story closet. But, Contessa, you were wrong. You were wrong. Now, I understand why you irritated with Mariah, but you were wrong with that whole situation with Buffy. Then they go outside, and Contessa want to act like she, she the victim. Why was she yelling at me like that? Why was she coming at me like that? Child. So you know how it ended up. You know how this ended up. Ended up being Mariah and was it Toya on one side, and then it was Quad Heavenly and Contessa on the other side. And of course, you know, Contessa is telling them her side of it, which ain't accurate. And then you have the other side. It's it's a mess. It's a mess. And that is how it ended, y'all. So you know we can already go into this reunion. And from the reunion, oh, I mean, from the, the clips, and y'all know they're going to always show us the most salacious parts of the clips. But the salacious parts that they show are bad. It looks like Jackie and, and Dr. Simona at each other's throat. It, it looks bad. It even looks like um Quad and um Heavenly had a little bit of a moment. And, you know, I mean, they probably fine. But, you know... And I don't know, maybe Quad bought into all the hype that's been going on. Well, no, because the reunion was before all that went down with the whole common thing. But anyway, honey, that is how this whole thing, that's, that's, that was the, the, the season finale. They ended with a bad, this whole, this season might not have been that explosive as a whole, but baby, the last 15 minutes of this daggone episode gave, gave you everything you probably thought you, you didn't have. I don't know. It was a whole lot going on, though. A whole lot going on. Y'all let me know what y'all think, honey. Well, I'm sorry. Let me be before. There was a little scene between Toya and Eugene where Eugene was thanking Toya. You know, this was your vision. This was your home. This is what you wanted. You know, and that was a cute little moment. Whatever, whatever, whatever. And then Toya going to say, I'm ready for them people to go home. Well, you invited them in your house? You invite. Child. She told us, I'm ready to go to sleep. Child. Then you should put a firm ending on your invitation. Look, I got my cousin. He has parties at his house, right? And his wife, ex-wife, he would put on the invitation that the party, like the party was from, like he had a party Saturday. The party was from three to seven, right? So at seven o'clock, young, she would start blinking the lights like we was at the bar and it was last call. We used to be like, what? You do know he our cousin. We can leave when we feel like leaving. Child, she sure would. But that's what Toya should have done, honey. She should have had the DJ shutting down. See, whenever when the music stopped and the liquor stopped, everybody know the party over. When you shut down the bar and you turn off the music, they'd have left. That's all you had to do. Anyway, let me know what y'all think. Drop it in them comments. Peace.